This is Accurate TV News. Where you get your news on time, on point, and online. A boat carrying Asian migrants sinks off the Bahamas, killing 17. A boat carrying Asian migrants apparently capsized off the Bahamas early Sunday. And Bahamian security forces recovered the bodies of 17 people and rescued 25 others, authorities said. It wasn't clear if there were any people missing after the boat sank about seven miles from New Providence. Prime Minister Philip Brave Davis said in a statement that the dead included 15 women, one man and an infant. He said the people rescued were taken for observation by health workers. Davis said investigators had determined that a twin engine speedboat left the Bahamas about 1 a.m. carrying a as many as 60 people apparently bound for Miami. Davis said a criminal investigation had begun into the suspected human smuggling operation. I would like to convey the condolence of my government and the people of the Bahamas to the families of those who lost their lives in the tragedy, Davis said. My government, from the time it came to office, has warned against these treacherous voyages. Asian Prime Minister Ariel Henry said he sympathized with the parents of the victims. This new drama saddens the whole nation, he said. I launch once again an appeal for national reconciliation in order to solve the problems that are driving away far from our soil, our brothers, our sisters, our children. Ex-worker arrested over a courthouse fire. A former male employee of the St. Catherine Parish Court has has been arrested in connection with Sunday's suspected arson at the court's administrative building. Head of the St. Catherine North Police Division, Howard Chambers, says he was held during an operation yesterday. He is to face questioning. The police also recovered a quantity of cash during the operation. An investigator told the Gleaner that cops are still searching for the main suspect in the matter. During the investigation of the fire on Sunday, it was revealed that larcenery formed a part of the incident. Firefighters and the police were alerted to the fire about 7.23 a.m. Two units from the Spanish Town Fire Department contained the blaze, which was seen coming from the Civil Registry Department, from which most of the clerks were work. Crime scene detectives cordoned off the area after they discovered that a vault had been broken into and an undetermined amount of cash taken. The police believe that the intruders gained access to the building through the front door, broke into the vault and then started the fire before escaping. This is the second fire in two months at the same location. On June 14, fire of unknown origin destroyed a section of the court's office. Cases at the St. Catherine Court to be rescheduled due to fire. The administrative office for the St. Catherine Parish Court has been closed until further notice following yesterday's fire. The cause of the fire is still being investigated by the Jamaica Fire Brigade and the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Arson is suspected. Chief Parish Court Judge Chester Crooks says due to the damage caused by the blaze, full operations of the main court and its outstations in Linstead, Old Arbor and Portmore will be impacted in the short term. Access to the court's office will be scaled down until further notice, Crooks said. He said matters previously scheduled for the main parish court and its outstation will still be heard. Members of the public who have matters listed for Monday, July 25th should therefore attend court court in order to be advised of the new dates for their cases. For further information, members of the public may contact the Court Administration Division at 876-754-8337 or email us at customer service at cad.gov.jm.